Hello, I'm Falmoon Beaver, and this is my video review for Neon Chrome by Ten Tons Limited. And thank you to them for supplying your review code. I have to be honest, this is one of the most fun games I've played when it comes to indie games. So, below us there, we've got the numbers one to six with a little room. That's your chapters. As you can see, I've only got to chapter two. These here are your upgrades, and they go all the way to 100. So there's a lot of money to spend there. Hey, we've got your weapons, and I've unlocked all but one from the first two chapters, which is a grenade launcher. And there we are, the RG-115 Electron, which is your railgun, which does quite a bit of damage and can fire through nearly every single wall. Uh, these are your abilities which use energy, so it's like your secondary attack, and they're quite handy to be honest, especially the micro missiles. Uh, these are all your enhancements, which do all sorts, and you can choose to have them to start with before you go out on your first run, or you can just take whatever the immersion chair gives you. You got a choice of three. As you can see right now, these are your assets. Each of them are different. There's a hacker, a soldier, an assassin, all good at different things. And as you can see, I've been through quite a few assets. I've died quite a lot. And unless you're some kind of gaming god, you will not just blitz this game. It, it's tough, but it's it's got that just one more go feel to it once you start playing. Sorry, this is a bit loud. I'll kill these and I'll turn down the sound of it. Yeah, sorry about that. I'd already turned down the music and I'd uh, forgotten the sound effects. So I apologise for that. But all these collectibles, basically extra energy and the money, which is what you're going to need to buy your upgrades. So you find these little booths, and hey presto, you can upgrade your character, which I think is a nice little touch. And, you can, and these levels, they are all procedurally generated, so no two levels are the same. And it's, it's quite hectic when you get all these enemies just rushing you when they see you. So be prepared for a bit of fun in that respect. And also watch out for them explosives because they will destroy your health pretty quickly. Some of these you get things you have to destroy in each level before you can move on. Others it's just a case of get to the exit and kill anything in your way. But oh yeah, I don't mind. And then diamond shaped levels are the boss levels that you saw on the map there. So be prepared for a hell of a fight because they're not easy. Check for landmines. <laughs> they, they will catch you by surprise if you're not paying attention. That was my special ability there. It's like a cluster bomb going off, so very handy in a fight if that happens. But it's not a guaranteed one if you catch me drift. And as you see, I need a red key to progress here. You need that red, blue, or yellow. I think that's a little nod towards Doom with the coloured key codes there. That's pretty vicious, fair dues. Nope, I've already got it. Let's move on. Um, so, one thing I will say the cyberpunk theme, I'm a big fan of it. Uh, the music's great, the controls are spot on. Uh, there's certainly that 
element of challenge within the game, you are going to struggle. Sorry, a bit of lag there. So I paused it, and hopefully this will work and we're back in. But uh, you got your stats there, you got everything you need to know on the pause screen. But uh, on the whole, this is a fun little twin stick shooter. It works perfectly. And I've got no qualms about giving this a good rating. I've really enjoyed my time on this. I found it hard to get off because I've got other games to review and play. Oh, and I don't get much chance to play for fun these days. <laughs> There's a lot of game reviews to go on. But this I really, really enjoyed. And if you're into the twin stick top down shooters, or you like cyberpunk, I'm pretty sure you'll enjoy this yourself. There is co op play, it is couch co op. And you see, I melee him out of the way there. And if you've got a gaming buddy who lives nearby, you're going to have a bit of fun with this. And I, I think the extra firepower will come in useful. It's just a shame there isn't any online capabilities for the co op which is a crying shame and you never know maybe in the future they may patch it in probably not but as it is it's a fun game and like i say there's loads to unlock you will die a lot but once you started upgrading the character you just start feeling a little bit better. But it's going to take a while. So, so be prepared. And if you're into the uh, whole aspect of achievements, don't expect to get the full thousand game score on this very quickly. It, it is going to take you quite some time. But I suppose that's part of the fun chat. You know, the challenge within the game, you, you don't want them all too easy. That's for sure. And there we go. I'm dead already. So, even now I'm still getting a bit, a bit of a beat at beating there, but the load times are quick, so you're not going to struggle, you know, with long load times. It is very quick in that respect. And there's plenty of weapons about with laser and ion versions of like the shotgun and your submachine gun, burst rifle, assault rifle, so yeah, there's plenty of variation there and obviously with all the enhancements if, if you've got the credits available to you, you can just go and suit yourself up before the start of a level. But I'm using mine to just upgrade my stats. I'm, I'm focusing on the damage and the health first. Because, uh, yeah, I think that's quite important to be honest. You want to do as much damage as you can in as little time as possible whilst trying to stay alive for as long as you possibly can. And obviously you get, you get more critical attacks with your sneak attacks. Uh, that little purple room there, it works the same as a green exit but it takes you to a special little bonus level. And uh, This one's quite short but yeah, it's got an auto dock in and it's got some little crates to loot as well, so it's all good. It's always worth trying these out. As you can see, I did quite well with that one. Oops, no, don't die on me yet. But as you can see, you can upgrade your weapons and stuff. You know, within the level, I mean, you have to re it resets it back once you've died. So, it's a bit of a downer there, but like I say, you've got other stats to build on there. And there's one of them booths, I'll leave that for now. I'm almost dead anyway, so it's not really important I get that. Just fire off a few rockets here, show me who's boss. Anyway, I've done a review for True Achievements. Uh, I'll leave a link in the description below in case you want to read my full review there. It's more in depth. Uh, here it's just mainly for gameplay. But uh, on the whole, I'll give, I'll give this game an 8 out of 10. It's certainly worth it. 
Anyway, thank you for watching. I'll see you next.